The only thing I can tell you is that what you're going to see is the truth. It's actual. It's factual. There's no myth. You want to see the truth? You'll see it here. Well, I'm L.J. Boots Hinton, and my father was Ted Hinton, who was the deputy sheriff. He was the last of the six officers to pass away who captured Clyde and Bonnie in Gibson, Louisiana, May the 23rd, 1934. There was a film made immediately after the ambush. It was made on a Bell and House wind-up 16 uh, that Ted carried with him all during the time that he was after Bonnie and Clyde. Uh, news photographer in Dallas with the Dallas Times Herald gave that camera to Ted and told him, says, Ted, you need to carry it with you because you're going to get them eventually and when you do, you're going to need to document it. Ted knew Clyde because they had been Western Union messengers together. Bob Alcorn knew Clyde because he had handled him before. So they were the only two out of the six-man posse that knew them actually physically on site. Ted and Bob Alcorn tracked Money and Clyde for 17 months. They were the only two people that ever faced Clyde in a gunfight more than once and lived to tell about it. Well, Ted knew both uh, the Parker and Barra families. And one time in a conversation with Henry Barra, Clyde's daddy, he says, Ted, he says, I know you're going to have to kill my boy because he won't be taken alive. He's not going to go back to the pen. And there are no hard feelings because we know that you're just doing your job. <laughs> 